travel with Slaughter and Piper in the and in Slaughter's camouflage limousine. <laughs> the camouflage limousine. Yeah, man. That's where I first met first met Roddy Piper, and we became real good friends. And we're friends, and you know, until recently when he when he passed, and that was a tough one there, buddy. Because what a what a super good guy he was. What a good friend. And that was a hard one to lose him, but he he battled with cancer. And God bless him, and he, for cancer mm. for a long time, he fought to the bitter end, and you know. And uh, it's terrible, ter- a terrible loss. But so territories, I, I'm good making my way. I hit almost every territory. The next was uh, uh, Hogan had got booked uh, for Vent for uh, uh, what was that? what was his name? Uh, uh, it was uh, Vern Garnier, AWA. Vern Garnier, Vern. Before we go to the AWA, I thought because you mentioned Roddy Piper and you were good friends and everything, I I'm quite fascinated with Roddy Piper pre WWF. And just how popular and how, you know, exuding charisma and how big of a star he really was. So, I mean, we can't say Roddy Piper without getting in a Roddy Piper story. Well, he was in Oregon. You know, he lived in, he lived right there outside Portland mm-hmm. and on a farm. And, it, you know, his, his wife and kids, and they still do, I'm pretty sure. Still, li- still live on the farm that, that Roddy built, you know, that he, he built up out there and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I never got the chance, you know, we didn't get to spend much time. Those I would just, I, I saw him pass and he would come into the territory to work shows for Don. And, and so I get to hang out with him then and everything. I didn't really get to hang with Roddy until like 83 when I came into WWF. Mm-hmm. And, uh, then, and then really got to know him and hang out with him. Yeah, uh, Roddy Piper had a, a big sort of reputation of being like a bar fighter, a bar brawler, and everything like that. But I get the feeling that uh, he talked his way out of more fights than he actually got into fights. If you know what I mean, is that sort of some? Is that right to say? Uh probably. But Roddy, Roddy was a great talk. I mean, but wasn't that he wasn't a tough guy? He, no, he he was he was very tough. But you don't always have to show how tough you are by getting in fights. You can show how smart you are by not getting in fights. Mm-hmm. And that's what Roddy did. Yeah. He's, you know, and, and he, he talked, talk his way out of anything. And, and, you know, I thought I admired him for that. I thought that was great. Any idiot can start throwing punches and, and it's, it's never going to end well. You're going to wind up in jail. You're going to wind up shot, stabbed something, you know, and, and, uh, or worse. And uh, so, so I always admired him for that. I, he, he, I learned a lot just just trying to listen, just listening to his some of his interviews, his interviews, in it, which were legendary. 